Habt ihr das Signal? Okay, dann mache ich mal die Folien hoch. Okay, so this is the closing of the 29th Chaos Communication Congress. Um, oh. <laughs> so did you like it? <laughs> So as you all know, uh, last time we met, not here, but in, in Berlin, uh, we said that we would need to change stuff at the Congress because uh, it is growing and had been growing too big for the building in Berlin. So moving to Hamburg and moving to the uh, CCH uh, was a big experiment. It was a risk. Um, one of our biggest worries was that um, the number of angels uh, who would be helping organizing the event would not scale at the same level of the number of participants. And this was wrong. So we had enough angels to do everything, and as I heard, uh, the most of the angels were not too stressed. So we can actually run an event of this size just on volunteer work. Uh, Okay, so just for those who didn't notice, everything here was being run by the angels. So from security, uh, over coordinating the workshops with the speakers, uh, entrance, cashier desk, t-shirt sales, everything you can imagine, the POC here, everything all run by volunteers. This is sad, of course. And so this is totally unique that we, that an event of this size is being run with basically no commercial paid people running it. Uh, many people have told me this is simply impossible, so this will not happen, this, uh, you will fail on that, uh, so, and we proved them wrong. Thanks again for that. <laughs> Okay, so Bios is trying to find his presentation where he no, has... No, 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 I, I found the presentation, okay. but the presentation notes aren't shown. <laughs> um, true? True. Yeah. There, there are some things that we actually had run, run by, by paid stuff, but uh, it was rather little. And um, the people who had been running cleaning were very much surprised how clean the rooms were after people left. Uh, so most of the people actually took their trash, put it to the, to the right places, and this is also something that I value very much, that we as a community apparently are able to leave things in the same state that we found it, or even better. Auf den Schirm. <laughs> the multimedia operating system is working hard. Wenn ich mache es mit den Notizen. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it works. Magic. <laughs> Use Linux. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, as Frank already said, uh, we had a lot of helpers, and thank you very much for this. And uh, praise the people in the building; they were great. Um, yeah. <laughs> Also, thanks again everyone who was here in the night. We, we had to do uh, some announcement regarding uh, the cleaning of the toilets and yeah, it worked. They uh, came back in the morning and uh, yeah, thanks from the cleaning team in the toilets. Some people used too much toilet paper and we prevented the flooding. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, uh, some numbers um, about to help us. We really had a lot of uh, volunteers. Um, we asked on the first day for, for more angels because we feared we would be overwhelmed by the number of visitors. And uh, all in all, we had about 500 volunteers. Um, of this number, there were about 100 people uh, in the core orga and um, in different teams and about 400 active angels doing um, over, we don't have an exact number, but um, over 5,000 hours of work. So everyone did over 10 hours of work during the four days. So thanks for that. <laughs> so, This is, this is also, on a, on a very personal level, uh, very interesting, which means um, some people say, yeah, I don't want to be an angel because I just want to do stuff on Congress and not just be angel all the time. In a situation where we have enough angels, the uh, amount of work per individual participant is rather low. That means many, many hands are working on, on a task, make it quickly go. And so that means if we all volunteer a bit, um, then stuff is done very quickly and doesn't even bother individually so much. So next time when you're here, consider becoming an angel. Uh, it's a lot of fun and really helps also understanding Congress better. Uh, yeah, yeah. Later. <laughs> um, uh, also, thanks to the work done by people months before, everything worked really, really smoothly this time. Um, we had, I, I think we had all services up and running uh, on day zero. Um, we had networks in days before. Um, people were here at uh, Christmas. About 100 people were in the building uh, during Christmas and uh, during, uh, during the build-up stuff. And yeah, thanks them. And uh, yeah, hopefully you had a nice Christmas dinner. Okay, then um, we apparently had some talks. I think this is one. So um, we had about 111 hours of talks. There's a slide. There, there sh ah. There's a slide. Okay. Um. So you see, the, the number of talks <clears throat> that we uh, got on the CFP is quite high. Uh, so we had uh, about three times as much talks as we could get into the program. Um, the program uh, is being chosen by a committee, by people that are, feel responsibility to, to do the uh, content selection work. And there had been some criticism in, in advance that uh, there was too, too many tech talks, not enough tech talks, not enough art talks, too many art talks. This happens every year. Um, so uh, what we really would like to ask you is do review talks in the Pentabuff, uh, because it helps us a lot finding who gives great talks, uh, whose content is really relevant, what topics are of, of interest. So if you have the time, go to the Pentabuff and uh, try to review talks so that we, we can do better next year and improve continuously on the program. So as a new thing, uh, we had this year the assemblies. Um, the idea of, of moving to a larger, larger building like this one here was to get more of a feeling like from the camp into the Congress because we didn't have space anymore in Berlin and we, we really wanted to give people the opportunity to show the cool stuff that they're doing, to meet people that are like them, to improve on their projects and to find others that are interested in the subjects that, that they're working on. And this is what, uh, why we have come up with the uh, concept of the assemblies. And um, what do you feel? Is it, was it a success, the assemblies, this year? Okay, so we probably will continue this next year. <laughs> um, there were also a lot of workshops, uh, some of them very spontaneous, very, some of them um, uh, taking place also in assemblies or around assemblies um, that gave room for lots of topics that are not as relevant to fill a room for 3,000 people, are very relevant to like 50, 20, 100 people. And um, this is also something that I enjoyed very much, that there was this huge, broad of, uh, of topics that uh, were covered in these workshops. Probably there were even... Yeah, uh, 
Hast du was zu den Lightning Talks auf den Folien? No. Uh, okay. Does somebody know the number of Lightning Talks that happened? I, I think we have a coordinator somewhere around here. <laughs> yeah, you. 71, seven, 71 Lightning Talks. Sorry? 71 Lightning Talks uh, that are. Uh, yeah. So that means if you add that up, so there were basically nearly 300 uh, things that were happening on, several, uh, on different topics here at Congress. And uh, probably no one of you watched them all, right? <laughs> 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 and uh, uh, at least the, the, the talks in the, uh, in the larger rooms you can uh, still watch as the recording. There are some of them that are highly recommendable, so I suggest you communicate with others what talks were really great and what you should watch later on. And about 60% uh, or this was the number before the talk uh, of the recorded talks are already available online. And okay, so the, the talks, are, the selection of talks, are, we, we don't have a language bias in, in selecting talks. Uh, we aim to have a, a high percentage of English talks, but not all of them. So the, if you think, um, for instance, that you want to do a talk next time for Congress, um, and you're not feeling like you cannot speak English very well, don't worry, then do it in German. We, we rather want to have good German talks than bad English talks. And if you feel that, so. <laughs> On the other hand, um, if you can do a great talk in English, please do, because we're having so many international visitors and also so many people watching the streams from, from abroad um, that we really want to, to strive to, to keep this international flair of the conference. We had, this time we had approximately, I think, 60% of the talks in, in English. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. We'll mention them later. <laughs> We're coming to that. Yeah. This, we had a lot of stuff, so we have a lot of stuff to talk about. Yeah. Um, for, for next year, um, if, you, if, if you think you, you can give a talk, please uh, uh, send us one when we send out a call for paper. And um, also, some, some people did it this year, um, but if you know someone who, who you would like to give a talk, then just propose it, uh, the, the, the person, to us. So this also works. You don't have to give the, the talk if you just have the idea for a talk. And this will help us select more and better talks. Um, we had one thing uh, special this year, um, we had last year also, uh, we had a Jung Hacker talk. Um, last year it was, um, yeah, it, it was small. This year, um, yeah, I, I think it was a success. Uh, we had about uh, 70 uh, participants. Um, the youngest one was five years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they had a selection of talks. Um, they also sold it about 110 of these pentabuck kits, which are really cool. They, they can dance and stuff. OK, you, you probably don't see it. Oh, OK, <laughs> it didn't break the monitoring. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if you have ideas what, yeah, what, what uh, kids or young hackers can do uh, on a young hacker day, uh, it is planned for next year again and propose them to the Chaos Macht Schule team. They organized this day and thanks to them for organizing this and doing such great work. Okay. Now are some more statistics. Um, we, we, we have to do it, so drinks. Um, th this year we... we ha hmm? Who drank too much? <laughs> <laughs> who knows someone who drank too much? <laughs> of everything. Of everything. <laughs> if you have been at a camp, you know that too much water can also be dangerous. 
<laughs> um, yeah, Mate consumption. We had 23,000 bottles of Mate. And <laughs> this is a real number. We didn't make it up. Uh, beer, beer was less. Uh, we had 13,000 bottles of beer. <coughs> Sold, sold. There, there was more available. I, I think there's still beer available somewhere. <laughs> so you didn't drink enough yeah. <laughs> collectively. Yeah. Um, of, of other liquids like water and cola and, and stuff, there were like 11,000 bottles. And um, yeah. So uh, if we add this up, we get about uh, 20 cubic meters of volume uh, of, of liquids, and this is about one sixth of. Yeah, I, I don't know whether there's a norm blue whale. The din doesn't have anything in, but yeah. <laughs> Ah, and um, uh, we, we had some scientists working on the numbers. If you stack all the bottles on top of each other, we get about 35 kilometers. Where's my mouse? Yeah, I should have Ne, für die nicht, erst dann wieder fürs Nock. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, so, as you know, at an event this large, um, they, they don't work with our dedicated teams um, that are feeling responsible for certain aspects uh, of what we're doing here. And one of the, um, the teams that is really responsible for our life and health is the CERT. Um, the third uh, reported 30, 33 injuries this year, um, 16 cuts, most of them working at bars, so people grab uh, bottles, knives, this kind of stuff. Um, two uh, events required external medical um, help, so two people needed to be cared of by external medical resources. Uh, the good news is everyone survived. <laughs> so. A big thanks to the to our Chaos Emergency Response Team that is keeping us alive. A big round of applause, please. For them. Okay, some numbers from the POC. Um, there were about 1,430 extensions installed during the event. So uh, this is uh, deck devices and also these strange GSM devices. <laughs> This, this technology still survives, and also um, about 150 SIP devices. And the interesting thing is that already on day one, the number... <laughs> <laughs> that is probably the corrected numbers. Um, the, already on day, day one, the number of uh, extensions surpassed the, uh, the number of extensions uh, in the deck that we had on Congress last uh, last year in, uh, in total. So everybody brought his phones, which is good. Um, one, one <laughs> we, we had one outtake. Um, we, we had a theft prevention device uh, installed at the cash desk. And um, yeah, unfortunately, it broke and it made some noise. Um, if, if you suffered from the noise, we are sorry. <laughs> So, <laughs> so the, uh, we had also the mobile operation center that was uh, taking care of the, uh, the GSM network at here, which is mostly an experimental network, but also served real communication purposes. So we had uh, 6,464. <laughs> um, SMS sent, uh, we had 6,464 SMS were sent. Of those, 5,908 were actually delivered, <laughs> <laughs> which is mostly due to phones being switched off, only being network ones and stuff like that. Uh, we had uh, call attempts, uh, 4,227, uh, and of those, actually, uh, 2,329 succeeded. So. <laughs> um, other events in the GSM network were not reported, um, so we, we hoped that it was interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry if I broke this phone. That would be a number of phones broken by me during the event, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, next team, the, the Video Operation Center. Um, they have a slide. Yeah. 
Um, we had streams up and running also since I, I think yeah day one and also before. Um, we, we had a peak yesterday evening. I, I'm not sure what was at midnight or around then, but apparently lots of people wanted to watch it. So I think there were uh, over 8,000 people watching this room. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and as mentioned before, uh, lots of the recordings are already online and more are coming as we speak. Yeah, thanks to the FEM and the other video helpers for making this event much bigger than would fit in the building here. Applause for that. <laughs> okay. Um, so getting network here um, and keeping it up was the, um, the job of the Network Operations Center. Um, they had a uh, separate uh, reporting already, but uh, some, some things are, are to say. So we had a uh, peak usage of 8.2 gigabit upstream and 2.6 gigabit downstream. So again, Congress is a bigger sender than receiver. Uh, which I found personally very satisfying, but we didn't use enough bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so whenever I went to the knock and asked them, sir, so what you know, how bandwidth? Boring. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they used too much more. We had uh, actually the uh, 30 gigabit uh, uplink capacity, uh, so <laughs> so there was a little bit more room. Uh, if you want to bring more hardware next year to satisfy the uplink, um, one note from the NOC, um, it may be that there's this strange legacy protocol used, still used this year, this, this IP version, I, I think it was three or four, something old, uh, may not be available next year. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, as mentioned already earlier, we had uh, translation services here. Um, uh, 36 talks were translated. That's approximately a bit more than one third. Uh, 16 translators were working here, uh, providing translation services. Uh, Thank you. Um, so the, the translations uh, were delivered by phone mostly, meaning that you could just dive with a deck phone or GSM phone to the, into the, uh, the hall number and then you're getting the translation uh, directly in your ear. So that means you can sit in a room and get a translation. Many thanks for that. that was yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct, since we had only 40% German talks, they were all translated. Great. So, um, so the, I think not all of the non-German speaking visitors actually noticed that there was a translation service. We need to do a better job next time actually making it known and uh, making it more popular among them. Uh, so we had approximately peak uh, 130 people listening to the translated streams, 150 users on GSM, 150 on DECT. Uh, so we can approximately guess that Israel, yeah, let, let's say 500 people or so, uh, listening to these translations. So that means these translations actually serve a really valuable purpose for our, our international visitors. And we hope to continue that next year. Sorry? Yes. Yes. Translated recordings will be available. Okay. Um, so the cash desk news is um, we had 6,604 tickets of all kinds sold. Um, so that including. <laughs> One number which is not included, there were also some people here for the night and yeah, so maybe there were more people, 
hopefully we counted everyone. So the ultimate the, ticket. There's, there's one really move thing in this, uh, in this ticket sale. Um, because this building is, is expensive and moving here and uh, running an event for this, this, this type and this large is very costly. Um, but we didn't want to force everyone to pay uh, a higher entrance fee. And we know that a lot of people are simply cash strapped and are really saving for this event and others just have it and can, can spend more money. We offered um, to have supporter tickets. And actually, one third of the tickets sold in the pre sale were supporter tickets. So, one third <laughs> people. And of, of this one third, one third already chose the highest supporting ticket level. And we sold another, I forgot the number, uh, 200. 200 business tickets So on top of that. So many thanks for that, for making it possible. So this actually makes it possible that we all can be here, so that we all can, can come to the Congress and uh, uh, regardless of uh, how much money we have. So this is really, really important so that we can keep the community together even if we move to larger venues and uh, having larger buildings and more fun. So thanks again for that. And also thanks for everyone who actually participated in the pre-sale because uh, we sold more tickets than we could have uh, as people in the BCC. So this helped a lot to guess the, the number of participants at the event. So thank you. And, and pre-financed it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we, the cash desk uh, collected in the end 42 kilograms of coins. <laughs> and we broke one basket while transporting them. Um, so traditionally we, we are at a uh, closing event. We also report on the network app use that uh, has been taking place. Um, as the band with you just it was a bit boring. It was only two calls that we had. Um, both were successfully black holed and uh, <laughs> then so that, you know we, uh, the process of uh, handling uh, network abuse to the outside is just we black hole the, uh, the receiving end so that uh, the attack is stopped. Um, so we had this year um, also a team caring for abuse of other things, uh, namely uh, harassment. That was the awareness team. Um, they uh, were around to, to help people when, when they felt mistreated or uh, abused uh, in some or harassed in some sort. They uh, said um, they had about 20 calls on the hotline. Um, one warning uh, was actually issued. One person uh, removed from the premises. Uh, because of uh, behavior, we also removed um, one Nazi from the premises. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> and so the the, um, the feedback from the awareness team was uh, they felt that their work was worthwhile and it was good. So thanks to the awareness team for that. Um, So to just clean up this misunderstanding, these uh, green and red and yellow cards that have been discussed so much were not the work of the awareness team and were not the work of the organizers. It was some people who felt it necessary, but uh, my personal opinion is it's not really necessary to import this kind of thing to our conferences. Because we, we care for your safety and we care for if anybody's feeling harassed and we don't need stupid cards for that. Thanks. There also was one abuse, I think, uh, at the POC, uh, or abuse complaint. Uh, somebody external complained that people or someone was phoning him. I thought this was the idea of the POC, but apparently some people don't want to be phoned. <laughs> Yeah. So we need outbound filters for the POC? Yeah. <laughs> OK. <laughs> OK. Um, yeah, some random stuff. Um, we had a locker this year, uh, which was also very spacey and large. Um, they had about 5,000 check-ins. And at the peak, they cared for about 100, uh, 400 items. So thanks to these angels who were also there 24-7 uh, for. <laughs> <laughs> 
We had a little carnival on, on floor two, I think. Um, they sold about 200 liters of uh, uh, cocktail slush ice. <laughs> So called chunk slush. Yeah. Which oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. chunk, yeah. yeah. I, I think they also had other cocktails. Yeah. Um, you may have noticed we had some escalators in the building and um, we had some problem with them not running, and people suspected that Deutsche Bahn might be behind this, but uh, <laughs> there, there was also no snow involved, but apparently some hackers like to push red buttons, which stop on it and uh, yeah <laughs> who doesn't like that right so, yeah <laughs> so we maybe should relabel them next year and say something like uh, launch or something like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. okay so we also had um, on the oddity section we had one stormtrooper uh, <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> and so, uh, since we since we have a no weapons policy here, um, we asked him before before and he asked if he can come as a stormtrooper uh, that we would really like to check his laser weapon at the entrance if it's harmless. And <laughs> he dutifully submitted it to Honk uh, for checking and uh, the okay. and. So we, we can use this, this moment to also thank our security team that uh, kept us all safe and sane here, um, including checking laser weapons, a big thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and, and thanks to a hardware sponsor, uh, later on it was switched to a non-lethal portal device, <laughs> according to the manufacturer of non-lethal. Okay, um, some more statistics. Um, if they are up again. Yeah. So we had uh, about 100 sofas here. Um, this was as much as we could master. Uh, probably who felt that there were enough sofas? Who needs more? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that's a relatively clear thing. We, we, we try our best, but it's, it's, it's hard. So have you ever tried to rent sofas? <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah. <coughs> we also... <laughs> yeah. We did that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. okay. so we had uh, 3,000 chairs here in the building uh, in use. So basically, when we all were there, two people could share one chair if they wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> and these were chairs additional to the chairs in the in the big uh, hall. So just in the in the floors. Okay. So um, I would really like to have another. Big applause for all the people helping here, all the teams that were making this possible and uh, that are giving us hope that we can manage events of this size uh, also last year, uh, next year. Please. So and as, as we all, or most of us uh, that got some sleep, are really a bit sad that Congress is ending, uh, we want to uh, remind you that in, in summer this year, there will be the uh, Observe Hack Make uh, in the Netherlands, uh, which was basically the camp, the Dutch camp. So we know that we're having these camps every four years. Every four years, the Dutch <coughs> hacker movement organizes a camp every four years we do, so that we have a two-year interleaving interval. So this summer, um, 2013, uh, there will be camp in the Netherlands, and we hope to see you all there. Um, the call for participation is open, and I think the pre-sale is also open, so we can actually get your ticket uh, soon. Um, 
I think that the, the spirit that we had here at Congress that was a very interactive, very, for me, sometimes very moving. The people were showing stuff, uh, we are dis displaying uh, their projects, bringing up stuff that I had never heard of, uh, making very crazy stuff, uh, and inspiring people to do other crazy stuff and do uh, also be very kind to each other. This is something that we should preserve, and this is something that we really would like to continue next year in Congress and also at the also of Hack and Make. Thanks for, for that. <laughs> so, and uh, traditionally the last notes at, um, at the closing event are the teardown notes. So what to do for teardown? Yeah, and difference to last year, please don't move chairs this year. <laughs> <laughs> because the people from the building will do everything involving chairs and tables, so don't move them. So, you, I know old, yeah. old habits... Maybe next year we will ask. Yeah, so old, <laughs> old habits die hard, so we know that we have this, this huge chair moving performance in, in Hall 1 in Berlin, which I really liked, by the way, but <laughs> don't move the chairs. <laughs> Um, also, if you uh, attach some stickers to surfaces or might have happened by accident, please remove them carefully. Don't uh, destroy anything. And, and yeah, if, if you need assistance, ask an angel. Um, there will be some sticker removing angels who have experience in removing stickers carefully. <laughs> Call them. <laughs> so. The building here will close down approximately at midnight. So that will be then when we need to have removed the stuff here, especially your stuff, and all the people. Um, so plan accordingly. Midnight is... <coughs> so. <laughs> so I think we will eBay what is still left then by then. But <laughs> okay. Also, if you have a car in the parking garage, remove it before Sylvester. So. Yeah, the, the people running the garage will switch and uh, it may happen that you can't remove your car then for the first few days in the new year, so do it before midnight. Okay, so we have also some leftover uh, merchandise, which is um, little tables and chairs that are available at the exit. So if you are returning to your empty home that has just a mattress and needs yeah. a little chair at a uh, no, no. table uh, and, and a lamp. Yeah. And, and please only take these kinds of tables and lamp and only take them if they don't belong to anyone else. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's very important. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, and please everybody who has volunteered for takedown, uh, go to the heaven, Abbauhelfer bitte im Himmel melden. Um, so that we can coordinate the takedown and get it done very quickly. And if you have uh, large things to move uh, from your assembly, then uh, you can use the, the, the big call H, I yeah. think. Hall H, yes. Hall H, and um, there are numbers for parking places outside of the hall, and they will be also distributed um, at the entrance of the hall. So if, if you don't want to carry it out an uh, exit, then uh, ask the angel there. Uh, I think it's remote. So, and there will be an after party. <laughs> <laughs> so there, are, it's placarded all around here, it's starting between eight and nine, uh, Amaya Rodriguez Ring, uh, uh, Universum Altona, is that correct? Um, so there will be the after party for Congress, so when you have moved your stuff and moved yourself, then move yourself to the party. Uh, <laughs> so this will be the after party. And there's a shuttle bus. Ooh. <laughs> yes, so <laughs> the, the info, info desk also has the uh, information on that on that party. So I'm a little bit sad. That's it. No, uh, one, more not, one, one more thing. One more thing. Uh, the gym will be open tonight. So uh, if you want to sleep instead of going to the party, uh, you can do it. But I don't recommend it. Sleep okay. may kill you. <laughs> okay. So then. Thanks for being here. Hope to see you next time. Hope to see you in summer at Observe Hack Make and the other smaller events that are taking place through the year. Um, <coughs> Easter Hack, Gulasch Programmiermacht, Sigint. Um, meet you all there and thanks for coming. Wow. <laughs>